Ahoy, it's Dave Landau, and you're watching Andy Smith, the coolest comic book creator around. Just ask his mom. I have. All hail Comics Gate! Bam! 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 What's up, what's up, what's up? Past Master Dan in the house! Woo! Marcus, hello. I am back from South Carolina. South Carolina. I know you want to see my pretty face. Okay, okay. I'll show you my pretty face. What? Come on now. You got to like Dave Landau. I think he's hilarious and really want him to come to town. Um, okay. Hello. <laughs> How creepy is this? <laughs> I just realized I look like Pete Davidson like this. Uh, so there you go. Okay, back to real face. So yeah, so I was at South Carolina Comic Con this past weekend. Uh, past Master Dan says he loves Dave. Yes. Uh, we also have an intro for the DNA show uh, as well, the Dennis and Andy show. Anyhow... So I am back from South Carolina Comic Con. My buddy Bud Root and I drove down together. Always a fun drive, chatting with Bud for a couple hours. Dennis, uh, my partner in crime on the DNA show, could not go because he um, had to go to Wisconsin and uh, do some family stuff. So that's why he couldn't go. Uh, but I'm here, and that's all that matters, right? Right. Uh, so I get there, we get there Friday, I meet up with Billy Tucci, teen sensation Billy Tucci, and Bud and Billy know each other, and our our uh, mutual buddy Old Cap is there, and uh, some other people, and we, we go to this cigar bar across the street from the hotel, we had about an hour there, so had a nice cigar, I had a couple beers, I think, uh, I think Billy had a scotch. And then from the cigar bar, all of us went over to Stacks Restaurant. Stacks is a fantastic uh, diner restaurant in Greenville, and uh, it was just fun hanging out with everybody. Catching up with Billy is always a good time. Uh, spoiler alert: I was able to get one of these bad boys at the con, so I got my she omnibus. Look at that! Look how thick that is. Oh. It's gorgeous. This book is just gorgeous. So yeah, so no, seriously, I was able to get this. Uh, so that was very cool. Oh, it's got a prelude by... Uh... Oh, cool. Yeah, so I got myself a little she action tonight. Saddest. I don't know why that song is going through my head. But here is the hot thing to pick up at the show. So do you guys know of the company... Uh, I think it's Bad Idea, that comic company, where they did this gimmick that was only available at South Carolina. So you can check eBay for these things, and they're selling for like over 100 bucks. 200 boxes, Bad Idea, donuts. And you're like, well, what's in this box? It is, uh, open it up. And I got this for a friend of mine, and you, it was one per customer. So inside the box is whoa, flip this around inside the box is 
Bunsen Beaver. And uh, this is a donut box. There's a Krispy Kreme donut in the box. Um, I hope the buddy I got this for, uh, I don't know if he's watching, but I hope he doesn't mind if I look through this uh, Bunsen, uh, Bunsen Beaver comic. I have heard that this is not for kids. And they were selling one per person, right? So a friend of mine has three boxes. And I'm like, how the hell did you do that? And he's a pretty nondescript character. So he's like, oh, I just took my jacket off and put sunglasses on. Oh, I, I took my shorts off and put a pair of jeans on. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I tried going back. And the guy's like, nah, man, you already been here. Probably because I had my first man shirt on and my Astonishing Comics cap. And I did not try in the least to look different. So maybe that's why it didn't work for me. Uh, but even though this comic uh, here, Bunsen Beaver looks all cute and stuff. From what I hear, it is not for kids. So it starts off, you know, tame enough. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know if I when I see something not for kids. Eh, that's not bad. I mean, I think there's there's a language in this thing as well that may not be for kids. And there's black and white art in the back. So I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. May, I guess it's because of the language. It's not for kids because uh, this is what it's kind of looking like right there. On the inside of this book. So, Stat Zero, hello. Average Eight, Surge, hello. Uh, Shave Beaver, no, that's not what it's called. So anyhow, I picked this up for a friend of mine. Uh, I'm going to ask him if you sell it. Maybe cut me in since I did all the hard work of getting it. Nah, I'm not going to ask him that. I'm kidding. But yeah, and then another guy I know got five of these boxes because he was working a booth. So he had different people run up to the run up from his booth and get them. So people were getting multiples of these boxes so they could pop them up on eBay. And I'm just like, whatever. Um, so Saturday, oh, the show was great. I did some sketching, did some signing of autographs. Uh, sitting to the right of me was Bud Root. Sitting to the left, but an aisle over, was uh, Billy the Tooch. So that was cool. Uh, sold some books, uh, which was cool. So I got to replenish my stock of books before the next convention in a couple of weeks uh, in Fayetteville, North Carolina, that I'm going to with my buddy Bart. Um Went out to dinner that night to a very good Mexican restaurant. So that was tasty after the convention. That was Saturday night. Had a huge beer. Huge, 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 like that big. At least, uh, I'd say it was at least 32, maybe 48 ounce beer. So that was large, but I wasn't driving. So being responsible. What's up, Ronald Shaw? So let's get into some of the stuff I got from the con. Um Another thing I picked up from Billy Tucci at the con, from the Tooch, it's more of a loan. I said if he hooked me up with this, I would draw him a she on it and uh, give it back to him. So I'm going to draw a she on this and uh, and give this back to Mr. Tucci. So I picked that up at the con as well. Uh, let's see, an another very cool book. I thought I had all these books for Marvel. And when I, what, you're like, all oh, what, dumbass? Show me something. I'm going to. Uh, let's see. Uh, I picked up this. So I've got Origin of Marvel Comics. Let me do it to this side. I have Origin of Marvel Comics. I got Sons of Origins of Marvel Comics. I've got Women of Marvel Comics. All these old books that came out from, what was the publisher? I don't think this was just Marvel. Uh, yeah, it was published by Marvel, but I thought the other ones were. Oh, so here you go. Here's the list. Let's go down that list together. I've got Origins. I've got Sons. I got Bring on the Bad Guys. I got the Superhero Women. Of course, How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. I have the Silver Surfer graphic novel. Uh, I've got 
Marvel's greatest superhero battles. Uh, let's see. And I've got Captain America Sentinel of Liberty. So I have quite a few of these. Uh, there's only a couple stories in here I don't already own. You've got the classic, classic. I don't know if they show the cover. Let me see. I don't think they do, which is stupid. Yeah, they don't. But this reprints the classic Silver Surfer number four, where he goes up against Thor. So that's in there. It reprints a... And the book is kind of falling apart. It reprints a great Iron Man Captain America story as well. And, oh, it smells so good. Yeah, the book's falling apart. Oh, look, I have pages that just came right out of the book. But for $15, this book was only $15. I'm not going to complain. It's got the Jim Starlin Hulk fighting uh, thing story in here. And then uh, it ends with a great uh, Spider-Man number 16 reprint where he teamed up with Daredevil. This is a great book. So glad I got it. Because it's falling apart, I will probably keep it in its bag that it came in. I mean, who keeps trade paperbacks in bags? This guy does. I'm putting the condom back on the bag. The condom is back on the bag. So there's that bad boy. That's right. Who didn't love the Marvel Universe? Also picked up, let's see, picked up some reprints. I love this stuff. I was at a guy, I was at a guy's booth. He's a $2. Everything in his booth is $2. So I picked up these bad boys whoop, for $2 a piece. I got, and these were the ones that came with toys. So you get the comic without the toy. So I got that bad boy. I got that one, which reprints number 96, X-Men 96. Not for sale because it came with a toy. And uh, this one, which is funny, it reprints X-Men 97. But I guess they like that Neil cover better. But if you're wondering, this is the X-Men 97 cover uh, that was printed. So I love these reprints. Yes. Pastmaster Dan says Toys R Us edition. Pastmaster Dan, you are correct. No prize to Pastmaster Dan for getting that correct. Oh, and music wise, when we were driving down there, because I know you guys want to know uh, what type of music Bud and I listen to on the way down. Uh, first, first, we were listening to. Uh, Hair Nation on Sirius XM. And then after Hair Nation, we uh, transitioned over to a little, um, after Hair Nation, we transitioned over to uh, Disturbed. Ooh, wah, ah, 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 ah. Disturbed. Da -da -da -da, stupefy. Stupefy. I'm not great with lyrics. Hey, Andy, great meeting you and Bud and Billy, it was great meeting you too, Chris. Thank you for saying hi, and thank you for dropping by. Very nice to meet you. In fact, I want to pop it on the screen here. Met this fine gentleman at the convention yesterday. Fine gentleman. Thank you for coming by and saying hi and for watching. Um, all right, what else did I get? What else did I get? You're like, stop blathering. What else did I get? I'm going to show you. Jeez Louise. Picked up another Batman that I need. Uh, issue 374 of Batman. You're like, why, why, why did you get Batman 374? I'm on a hunt to collect all the issues of Batman that Don Heck, not Don Heck, Don Newton, Don Newton has drawn. I love Don Newton's artwork. He passed away way too young. Uh, I love his Batman stuff, so I'm going to hunt to get all his Batman work, which isn't that much. So, oh yeah, eight backers away from 660, so get on it now. Back the campaign if you haven't yet. 
Uh, any art rarities? Uh, no. I, I think you're. Are, do you mean like in in a comic or original art? I did get an art rare. You know what? I actually did. Hold on. Just looking here. What I can. What else I got? Um. Oh, here's a good one. I already have graphic novels of Slain by Simon Bisley. Here, I'll open this up. I've got the. I've got two Slain graphic novels that with art by Simon Bisley, but I don't know if it reprints the story that's inside this. So I bought this anyhow. I love, <clears throat> love Bisley's painting. Lo I mean, I love Bisley's work, period, but his painting is just kick butt. Look at that. That is just so good. So I don't know if this is reprinted and what I already have or not, so I need to look through that. But for one dollar, this was one dollar bill, yo. One dollar bill. It was worth it to me for the one dollar bill. Uh, let's see. Uh, trying to find something here. Hold on. This was worth my one dollar bill. Mm. I love just spending one single American dollar bill and getting me some good old funny books. Oh, yeah. Slain the Berserker. He's a mean, mean man. I'm going to have to check later to see if I have them graphic novels or not. So, there you have it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, you should come on over to my side of town and uh, see what goodies um, we can cook up. All right, let's continue with the comic book haul. Uh, here's a art rarity. Alien Worlds, right here. Actually, over here. Alien Worlds, right here, by Dave Stevens. Ah, this filter's warping the book. I don't want that. So, here you go. Uh, I look like the old man from Monster House. That's why I like to hear. So yeah, so another book that was a uh, dollar. Alien Worlds. Oh no, wait, this wasn't a dollar. This was, wait, was this five bucks? Yeah, this was five bucks. I'm sorry, five bucks. Five bucks, Alien Worlds, Aurora by Dave Stevens. Had to get this. Early, no, Dave Stevens Interior, baby. Now you're going to make me bust it down, bust it open. Hold on. Dave Stevens interior artwork as well, I think is what you mean to say. So some nice Dave Stevens artwork in here. Will says, I sent you a DM on Instagram. Could you check that out when you get a minute? I will. I, I'm glad, and I, no pun intended. I'm glad you said that because I don't check Instagram that much. So uh, now I will, and I'll, I'll check out your message. Great way to end a book. So early Dave Stevens work right here. Very nice. I'll be uh, taking this in the house to, uh, to read. All right. And then, uh, not last, but getting close. I don't know what it is. I'm on a I'm on a binge of getting early Lady Death stuff. So I got this. It's chromium. Uh, I got this one and this one for two dollar total. Two dollar bill, yo. Two dollar bill. Old school Lady Death. Uh, Stephen Hughes. God rest his soul. Um, left us way too soon. But so I got that lady death. So I gotta look at that. And you know, it's weird too, because I really wonder what Steven's art would look like now. You know, I mean, it's been 20 years, and you know, it's been 20 years or more than 20 years since Steven's passing. And man, if he was still with us, I just wonder what his art would look like now. Uh, well, I believe he's making a joke. I wonder why Lady Death never really took off. Dude, he's killing it on Lady Death now. He's just doing, Brian Polito's doing Lady Death 
through crowdfunding and he's killing it. So, and I got this lady death. This is also a number one issue drawn by Ivan Rice. Yep. The Ivan Rice that became huge at DC first on, he started on Superman. Then he did green lantern and green lantern blackest night and uh, all that stuff. He's a big superstar. Ivan Rice over at DC comics, but got his start. Uh, one of the early things, Lady Death, I think he was young, like maybe 20 years old when he drew this stuff. Very cool stuff. That was also $2 bill, yo. But the big one, the big book that I got, and when I say big, I mean it's thick. I got this thick art book right here. George Perez came out from IDW. Desperado. Um, originally, this book sold for $50. $50 for the art of George Perez. It is um, looking for a page count here. So it's 288 pages. 288 pages, but look at that. Signed. Signed by George. So I picked this up. It was already signed by George. Uh, it was not cheap, but uh, I know the dealer. And he said, I tell you what, you got any artwork at your table? And I said, I sure do. So I traded this for a uh, uh, sketch cover that I did. So I was able to trade to get this book for a sketch cover. So I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm looking forward to reading this. That kind of thing is where IDW shines. Yep, reprinting art books. They sure do. Um, this has some really cool stuff in it. It's got, well, little seam covers by George. I never saw that Bill the Bull cover before. Uh, I've never seen the Catalyst cover. So it's, it's a really nice book that goes through his career. It's got tons of artwork in it. So that is very cool. I'm just looking for something else to show you guys. Uh, it's kind of chronological. Oh, here we go. Whoa, what's going on there? Wow, chicka, wow, wow. Chicka, chicka, wow, wow. Uh, would that be the Aquaman sketch cover? No, 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 no. Um, the Aquaman sketch cover, I did ink at the convention. So I must apologize because I said I was going to ink it on stream. I did not ink the Aquaman sketch cover on a live stream like I said I was going to. So I apologize. Um, it was This was the first convention that I actually took. Uh, odd job, hello. This was the first convention that I actually took um, in 31 years in the business. For those just tuning in, Andy Smith, your host with the most 31-year veteran of this wonderful industry we call comic books, working for Marvel, DC, and you name it, I've worked for them. now doing my own thing. And you're like, what's your own thing? I'm drawing First Man, uh, volume two, and you can get volume one as part of the campaign. So any mods out there, oh, you know what? Stat zero, I need to wrench you up, stat. Hold up, hold up, I forgot. I got to throw a wrench uh, stat zero's way. Dun, dun, dun. This is probably going to have some sound. Got to make sure I turn this down. Nope. All right. Where's my man? There he is. Let's mod him back up. Yes. Yes. Stat Zero is now a moderator again. Uh, so he can throw the link up for me for the first man campaign. I've got four pages I'm waiting on from the colorist. Four. Look at those four pages. Some bio page coloring, some production work. Hopefully get that baby off to the printer within uh, the next uh, three weeks or so. So that's where I am on First Man. Anyhow, um, what was I saying before that? Now I don't even remember. Uh, just talking about um, the sketch cover. And I apologize. I, I inked the sketch cover at the con. First time in 31 years. I've never been comfortable taking a bottle of ink and my brush to conventions because then you need a bottle of water to clean out the brush on your table. 
you need paper towels to uh, to clean it up and all that stuff. And it's a pain in the butt. But I'm also, I still just don't, lo I love inking with a real brush. So long story short, I took a real brush. I took my bottle of ink. I took a empty container with a lid on it, some paper towels, got to the convention, put some water in my uh my water jug for the brush and I inked it with a brush. Uh, I was very happy. You know what? I can show you guys how it came out. Uh, first, Christopher, thank you so much. He bought first man at the convention. Thank you again. He read it and he backed learning curve. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Let me show you those sketch, the couple things I did at the show. Uh, just bear with me as I'm uh, not in screen. No, I'm here. I'm here. I'm right here in the house. I got to go out and cut the grass today. So there's that one. Uh, uh, I guess I'll take it out of the bag because it's shiny. Everybody hates shine. So there's uh, there's that one all finished up. So that was inked with the real brush. So Aquaman is done. Marcus says, spilled ink at a con once, ruined a couple of comics. Yep. That's why I'm very, uh, very hesitant of taking real ink. But it really worked out well for me. So, honestly, the next convention I do, I'm taking my real ink. The only thing I forgot was to take white out. But I didn't need any white out on any of the commissions I did over the weekend. Uh, that was the trap I fell into, ordered and read the first issue back the second a few days later when it opened. He got me. Yes. Yes. I pull you in. I pull you in. I would love to come back to Buffalo. I need to be invited. I need to be invited. And then I did I finished this one at the convention as well. Uh I always liked Icon, the character Icon. So I did a little Icon at the show as well. So there's a there's a huge Icon right there. No pun intended. Ink that with a brush. Uh, Will says, uh, we actually met once. You told me you don't like microns. I don't hate them. I don't love them. Uh, I use brush pens when I'm at shows. And uh, I'll use a brush pen. And I've got a few other pens in there that I'll use. But I love a real brush. I love a real brush. You can see it in my eyes. I love a real brush. I cannot lie. I love a real brush. All right, what song was I singing that from? I won't even make you guess. I'll just tell you. I love a rainy night. Na -na 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 -na. I don't know a lot of the words. I love a rainy night. So this I'm glad I brought home because... I did this morning add a little bit of whiteout to areas of this where I uh, made some mistakey stakes while I was inking it. So there's a there's a, a nice uh, icon cover right there. Whoa, Timothy Fitzgerald says he loves a real bush. I don't know if that's a typo or not, but I agree. I do. I do declare yes yes i do of course you met brush of course you did hail to you as well um what is up of course you met Brush. i know i know you met brush i know you did you don't you don't have to tell me i know you met brush um all right let me see here uh ooh, what do i look like like this oh yeah i forgot i like this look mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. How how far can I turn my head before these glasses are just laying on the screen by themselves? Oh, oh, not too far. Good enough. Might have to wear these on the Kings tonight, yo. Uh, DC DC should have done more with the milestone characters. Yeah, I like Icon, and and uh, I thought Mark Bright when he originally did the series was really cool. Uh, so yeah, so I got that, I got that milestone blank cover for cheap couple bucks. And it was like, oh man, I got to draw me a drawing on this blank cover. And speaking of drawings, uh, remember 
Hey, James Allen. Hello. Uh, first man, there is the link to back it. Uh, if you want to get original art, you still can. Let me kick these off my face real quick. Oh, that didn't do it. Where am I? Here we go. Hey, um, if you want to get original art, you can still get in. I think on the first man campaign, there is one left available for the 7x10 full figure art. You pick the character. Timothy, uh, DC, doesn't DC keep saying they're bringing them back? Yeah, they say they are. Marcus should come down. Uh, so I've got some sync, some full figures left. This is what you'll get, 7x10. Uh, you pick the character. These are some of the ones I've already done. I love the Silver Banshee. I love the way John Byrne did her all knocked out in black and in that shape with the hair. Uh, I've got some fun characters here that people picked. People pick the purple people eater. Uh, this one actually goes like this. Randy knows, because this is Randy's Green Lantern and uh, Starfire. Uh, here we've got, what's her face? Maxima. Hello, I'm Maxima. Chuck Lee says, can you teach us how to draw the bubble anatomy? I can try and do that one time. Sure. Uh, so there's one of these left, guys. So go back to campaign, and for 200 bucks, you'll get a copy of the book and a figure. Oh, somebody wanted a penumbra in all her bathing suit glory. Ooh, look at penumbra showing it off. Oh, Marcus, you're not a stalker. So, yeah, so you guys can still get, and thank you. I see there's like 30 people, 32 people watching. Hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know when I go live. Hyper said that Psylocke's looking good. This is Samson from that old cartoon. Uh, Golden Age uh, Catwoman, I guess. And then we got some headshots. Whoops, wrong way. We all know who that is. Hello. Uh, let's see what other headshots I've got. Of course, Penumbra. Everybody likes the Penumbra. First man. Oh, yeah. And there's like three headshots left. So if you want to get a headshot, jump on and do that. Hal Jordan. Hello. Oops. Uh, Captain America, hello, get yourself a 7x10 headshot that you choose. Hellboy, hello. Uh, this is for Don Chen. If Don Chen is ever watching, uh, Don, here's your man, uh, Beard Zerker, right there. There's Beard Zerker. Uh, Patch, not Patch Adams, Patch the Wolverine, Patch. Uh, What's her face? Carrie Kelly, uh, Robin. Mm -hmm. And uh, back to the beginning. Somebody wanted a cyber frog. He's getting all the CG guys to do cyber frogs. So there's me, uh, my cyber frog. So there you go. There's all that stuff. So uh, there you have it. Uh, thank you for joining me for South Carolina Comic Con Reflections on the Con. Bud Root and Billy Tucci, and a big thank you to uh, to Rob Young and his wife, Michelle, for putting on a fantastic show. They really know how to treat guests right. South Carolina Comic Con. Hopefully, uh, I will see you again next year. I mean, I know I will because we're buds and you always invite me. Uh, so South Carolina Comic Con, tip of the hat to you. Uh, great show. Got some great books. Thank you guys for joining me. And, uh, you know, of course, go get yourself First Man and uh, First Man in the Black Book, 112 page, 8.5 by 11 hardcover that features some of my best work over my 31 year career. So there you go, guys. Uh, thank you once again for joining me. For those that haven't seen this yet, Dave Landau loves me. Watch, he'll tell you. Ahoy. It's Dave Landau, and you're watching Andy Smith, the coolest comic book creator around. Just ask his mom. I have. All hail Comets Gate. Bam! 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 
Wait, when did he meet my mom? Now I feel weird. All right, I'm going to go check Instagram now. Don't worry about it. Everybody have a good day. And uh, I need to record some book looks later today as well to get up for you guys. So until next time, bye-bye, everybody. I'm bringing sexy back.